What's up, YouTube? Got to go on a little rescue mission this morning. Don't worry. La Flama Blanca is not hurt. I got to uh, take her down to pick up another truck that's broke down. I'll give y'all some details here in just a minute.
Miss 806? Yes. It makes fun of the way I say YouTube. So I say YouTube, like the band. YouTube. <laughs> anyway, we made it back. We got the uh, bull wagon dropped off to, to the guys that own it over in Altus, Oklahoma. Got about a 70 mile drive over to the house, which I'm about 25 miles into that now. <clears throat> Been a pretty long day. Well, all in all, I mean, considering we had the problem with the truck, my uncle's truck, after uh, getting down there and looking at it, I've seen a lot of trucks lose that, that rear drive shaft, you know, between the two drives. It's usually a, a U-joint failure is what causes that. But on this particular instance, the, the shaft that your yoke hooks up to on the output side of your front differential, the shaft just sheared off. I have, I have no idea. Something had to get in a, in a hell of a bind to shear it off like that. It was, it was really weird. I've never seen it. And, and that truck has been acting funny. Like I said, we replaced that drive line a month ago. And uh, we actually put a new rear end in the truck too. Because uh, usually if you lose that drive line, all you got to do is lock in your differential to get you on down the road. But whenever we did that with that truck, that differential would start popping real bad in the front. So we thought, you know, initially the, the other rear end was bad. So we got another rear end, uh, and uh, after we uh, put it in, locked it in, lo and behold, it would do the same exact thing. Crazy, crazy deal. Never seen that before. But once we got the new drive line put in and attached it to the to the rear drive axle, and had everything hooked up, it wouldn't pop no more. So. Thought maybe maybe it's just something a limited slip ring in there or something. So anyway, we ran it. Hell, we put we probably put five thousand miles on it, and uh, no problem until last night, early this morning when it when it gave up. So uh, we're, I'm going to haul it up to Amarillo, Texas tomorrow morning to uh, to uh, Tal Brothers. They're they're pretty good at doing drivetrain stuff, driveline stuff. So take out there to them let them let them look it over we got a lot going on we got two trucks down we're real busy right now so we gotta we gotta get it expedited and get it out and uh, I gotta get parts for the freight liner we got in there too but anyway uh, with that being said man everything went off with a hitch so without a hitch you know making it running through a little rain 54 degrees on a little Sunday drive. Uh, there was some uh, spring breaker traffic out today. So that uh, that kind of made it a little fun coming out of uh, out of Huntsville up to Dallas on 45 there. We'd be running 75. Next thing you know, we're running 25. Now we're running 75 again. And for no rhyme or reason, no accidents, no cars, no, no nothing. It's just everybody getting in everybody's way, I think. Um, Price of oil, Anybody, any of any, y'all keep up with that. I keep up with it pretty good. I mean, I was an oil field hand for 14 years. Uh, price of oil dropped, dropped to $31 a barrel today. OPEC, apparently OPEC said they're fixing to ramp up production and, and open the floodgates. You're not gonna hear me talk about politics too much on this channel. I prefer not to get into it. To be honest with you, I don't really lean too much one way or the other. I'm kind of in the middle. I kind of take the best of both worlds and, and look at it as a as a rational, try to be a rational person and say, hey, this is what this is what I think, you know. But not that my opinion really matters. But so some things I lean to the left on maybe a little bit. Some things I lean to the right on a little bit. So. I probably lean a little more right than I do anything just because, you know, we're trucking and, 
and I uh, want to work. That's what it is. I want to work. I don't want to. I don't want to uh, get a bunch of stuff for free that that we got to pay for anyway. You know. So but anyway, with that being said, uh, that'd be the, probably the last time you hear me talk about that on here because that's that's a rabbit hole you go down, and uh, I don't want to go down it. So, but uh, we're gonna get on in here to the house. Price of diesel should be going down with the price of oil going down. So uh, everybody make a little more money, hopefully. Let's just hope the freight rate, the freight rate stay uh, decent and uh, and business stays decent. Cause I'm really afraid with the oil dropping like that. With the coronavirus breaking out and shutting down the ports. And things are gonna get slow. It's gonna get slow, so. Um, but y'all, uh, all my new subscribers, Thanks for uh, joining. I hope y'all enjoy it. Enjoy the footage. Um, everybody that's been with us, thanks for hanging out and, and staying with us and staying true to the game. Um, give a shout out to my boy Dion Melvin. Uh, thanks for the thanks for all the shout outs here lately on uh, on all your social media platforms and uh, man, it's, it's really helped. I, I jumped up. I think 15 subscribers today and uh, getting the word blurred out and to, uh, to all my subscribers that don't uh, that don't sub subscribe to me on uh, drop down in the comment uh, below the not the comment box but the description box down there I got a link a link to his channel Flatbed Game check him out uh, K to Flatbedder check him out as well as well as uh, Jorge Navarro Chuckers Life uh, me and me and Odeon, we chop it up quite a bit every day. So he, he's he's a good dude, man. I like I like the hell out of him. <clears throat> and, he, and he's and he's funny as hell, y'all. So uh, check him out. Check his videos out. Go back to some of his older stuff. Just kind of work your way to it. Work your way through it. There's a lot of good stuff hidden in there. So, uh, but anyway, I think I done talked enough here. Uh, video probably gonna be pretty long. So, uh, for 806 driver, Miss 806 driver, what we say? We yeah. out.